Hi, everybody. It is a great pleasure of me to be here and present on the review of the effects of chronic stress on human insomnia. My name is Lo Yi Kang, and I just obtained my bachelor's degree of science in cognitive science from University of California, San Diego. And now I'm currently a clinical research coordinator in Massachusetts General Hospital. So let's begin. So first, a little bit of background check. So about insomnia, we know that insomnia is the most common sleep disorder that can present independently or with comorbidity with other physical or mental conditions. It is highly prevalent and can lead to many costly consequences on patients and society. So multiple physiological causes for insomnia have been identified, including both acute stress like separation or illness and chronic stressful events like occupational stress. Studies on the neurological mechanism of how chronic stress affects insomnia presentations are actually, on the other hand, rather scarce, while lots of people with stressful lifestyles actually face this problem. To be honest, like me as a college student. So the overall prevalence of insomnia in working people in the United States is 23.2%, and CDC has declared insufficient sleep as a public health problem. Also, up to $680 billion is lost each year across five OECD countries due to insufficient sleep. Thus, this paper aims to review the literature containing information on human subjects, draw conclusions on the neurological mechanisms of chronic stress on insomnia, and examine promising treatment for insomnia that are specifically due to stress. So first, let's have a look a RAS model, which actually have a more plentiful resources and literature. So in my review, I found that there's a significant dysfunctional REM sleep presentations in rat models. So my paper has a more detailed ex explanation of the findings from this literature, but in this presentation, I'm just gonna keep it short. So the first study shows that chronic stress decreased the REM sleep time with a persistent effect. Uh, even though both REM and non-REM sleep are affected, but REM sleep are especially affected and are very hard to get back to the baseline in REST models. And second studies show the highest, shows the highest rebound of REM sleep in the REM deprived group with chronic stress conditions. Now, that means even though all REM deprived group of RAS show rebound of REM sleep, but only the group with the chronic stress condition shows the highest rebound, showing a more significant influence from chronic stress on, uh, on the deprived sleep group. And also slow wave activity and homeostasis are disturbed by insomnia induced by chronic stress. And from these studies, we can draw a possible conclusion that chronic stress can induce and even aggravate insomnia. And then I also reviewed the uh, limited number of studies that use human as subjects. So first, there are significant volume loss in CA3, dented subfuse in hippocampus. And this volume loss is significantly associated with insomnia. This finding is identical to what we found in the rat model, that sleep fragmentation inhibited neurogenesis. And also in male poor sleepers, amygdala reactivity and fearful stimuli are significant. Oh, sorry. In male poor sleepers, amygdala reactivity and fearful stimuli are significantly associated. In this study, fMRI results presented this association between amygdala reactivity to fearful facial stimuli and self-reported stress level in male poor sleepers. But beside these, I also found some promising treatments that are mentioned in these literatures. So 33% of insomnia patients improved after the completion of four or more sessions of cognitive and behavioral treatment. Medical comorbidity did not influence their outcome. Also, cognitive and behavioral treatments specifically written for insomnia 
and administered by a professional therapist produces the most significant reduction in insomnia compared to self-help CBT procedures that is not specifically targeted for insomnia or administered by patients themselves. So, the last part of this presentation is about, is the conclusion and limitations of this review. So, this paper reviews studies that can validate the association between chronic stress and insomnia, aiming to bring attention to the risky factors that has long existed under our nose. Overall, chronic stress disrupts main wa brainwave activities, especially the REM sleep and hormones relating to stress in rats, which consequently elevates their stress level and impairs their sleep quality. There is potential relationship between chronic stress and insomnia as deficiency of slow wave activities in insomnia subjects is already acknowledged. Um, moreover, insomnia and chronic stress can worsen each other and cause long lasting effects on the human brain. For example, the loss of neuronal branching in hippocampus and altered fear responses in amygdala. We can expect impaired learning and memory in human participants with chronic stress-induced insomnia. However, limited by the number of related articles, this paper might not be able to give the most holistic review of this topic. To understand more about how chronic stress affects human sleep, more clinical experiment recruiting human subjects are definitely needed. The last but not the least are the reference list for my paper. And that is the end of this presentation. Thank you very much for listening and goodbye. <laughs>